Good morning. Today is August the 11th, 2010. This is Hurricane Cities with an update on the tropical weather. At 4 a.m., the tropical depression number 5 was located at 26.8 degrees north, 85.1 degrees west, or about 340 miles southeast of Gulfport, Mississippi. Maximum sustained winds are 35 miles per hour near the center. Minimal central pressure 1,008 millibars moving to the west-northwest at 10 miles per hour. The depression has not changed much in intensity since the last advisory. In fact, the convection has eroded considerably as well as the low-level circulation, which is likely due to cool downdrafts caused by the dry mid-level air that's currently west of the cyclone. Aircraft has investigated the system overnight and found 25 to 27 knot winds and a few rain bands near the center. Despite the disruption of the low level wind fields, upper level air data indicates that the depression is well defined from about 850 millibars to at least 400 millibars. All models are all agreeing that the tropical depression is moving to the west, northwest to northwest until landfall, which will be around 48 hours. A decrease in forward speed is expected, however, by 36 hours as the mid-level shortwave trough that's currently over the central U.S. digs to the southeast and creates a weakness in, to the trop subtropical ridge along the central Gulf Coast. The exact timing of this weakness will determine how far west the cyclone will move before it takes a northerly turn. The track has been moved slightly to the right from the previous track and it will take it along the Mississippi Gulf Coast near Gulfport within 48 hours as a minimal tropical storm winds of 45 to 50 knots. Tropical storm warnings are in effect for most of southeast Louisiana, southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle. The system will be continuing to be monitored with Hurricane Cities and go to our website at hurricanecities.com for the latest. That's it for now. Thanks for joining us and have a great morning.